Capitolo 2 La verità svelata Che ha dovuto rigiocare tutto il capitolo 1 Porca puttana Che qui non aveva salvato Era Somnus. Forgive me, brother, but the throne seats only one. Hera! Uh, gods, no! Nizunia, Chief Bisithia would like to see you. Ma lasciatemi verde. Non ci vado, faccio prima un giretto. La prima volta che andavo non ero bambino Era un bosco fuori città e ricordo ancora perfettamente l'orrore Se la citazione prima a vedere quell'animale Probabilmente un cane Il cane randaggio e contagiato dal plasmodium eh, vabbè, si entusiasmava con cose strane Tutti considerano un pazzo, vorrei vedere Mi ci sono studiare ciò che si nome morte Era considerata una cosa obietta Obietta Ma va Certo non tenevano conto del fatto che la ricerca e la conoscenza so che tutti i diamo sono la chiave che apre la strada verso le vette mai raggiunte prima La persona d'arte per due millenni e che su lui può infuocare. È tutto simile a spadone del mistico appartiene a Somnus Lucis Calium, Caelum, fratello minore Ardin e primo re di Lucis, quindi è anche la spada di Noctis, quasi, quasi indistinguibile all'apparenza, gli spadoni hanno caratteristiche diverse, utilizzate insieme, ma straordinario effetto sinergico. Ciò porta a ritenere che queste due armi siano state forciate nella speranza che i fratelli unissero le forze a nome della prosperità, della stirpe e del regno. Ma così non è stato. Non c'ho niente. No, non c'ho completo laboratorio, vabbè. Equipaggiamento. Penso di non avere niente. mappa che anche qui sono il laboratorio e basta ok questa cosa delle spade è interessante altri punti flagello di Eos quanta lore quanta lore in questo Final Fantasy quello che viene chiamato flagello del pianeta colpì il nostro mondo circa due millenni fa per poi placarsi inspiegabilmente. Fu così che Demon e il terrore che questi provocarono venne ben presto dimenticato da tutti. Vennero ben presto dimenticati da tutti. Da 1800 anni tuttavia venne scoperta una forma mutante di plasmodium che rese la parola Demon nuovamente tristemente familiare. In caso del flagello sono, del flagello sono ancora ad accettare da accertare, ma si ipotizza che l'origine dell'epidemia ci sia un aumento di popolazione iniziato quattro secoli fa. Ah, questa non la sapevo. 
hanno sfruttamento diffuso delle energie magiche che rese abitabili zone che prima non lo erano. I nuovi insediamenti raggiunsero probabilmente luoghi in cui il plasmodium era latente, con il risultato di risvegliarlo. Se è così, il numero di demon è destinato a crescere ancora a dismisura. Ricorda un po' il settimo, senza voler bestemmiare troppo. Eh? Ah, nothing here to interest me. Ah, nothing okay. here to interest me. Pare che non ci sia nient'altro, andiamo avanti. Eh, io potrei rompere il culo a questo volendo però. Ah, uh, say this outfit wasn't tailor made. <laughs> di qua sì not the most enthralling view che dove è ambientato anche episodio pronto credo altri punti c'è un sacco di roba a leggere qua comunque guarda qua sempre a trovarli sarà il problema però ad agium ciò che lucis si tramandava come una leggenda ha trovato conferma in un antico testo che abbiamo scoperto di recente in un masoleo reale ora ne siamo certi ad agium esiste davvero per il momento sappiamo che recluso da due millenni sull'isola di angel guard è vivo L'unta che Lucis ha cercato di cancellare allontanando da sé deve essere una creatura che ha del soprannaturale, un un soprannaturale, una creatura forse indicibile, di cui non si riesce a immaginare l'origine, ma so, parlano di Ardin. Sento questa è l'occasione giusta per dimostrare l'impero importanza della scienza e della ricerca. I suoi si temono e produzioni magiche che su larga scala stanno dando scarsi risultati. Sergio Succhigna di noi. Da giù la nostra occasione se riusciremo a mettere le mani su questa creatura immortale. Qualcuno dovrà prepararsi a complimentarsi con noi. Eh, mi sa che parlano proprio di me. Enjoying your stay? No. You've been asleep for years. Learning to appreciate the waking world will take time. Perhaps I can help enlighten you while we dine. Was your examination of me a fruitful one? Oh yes, you've proven far more fascinating than expected. <laughs> no wonder they kept you locked away. To think the powers of a demon could dwell within the heart of a man, it's incredible. The Star Scourge doesn't sap your life force, it gives you more. 
Your cells can regenerate themselves, and you can demonify other life forms as well. There's no doubt you a are monster. not a monster, a marvel. <laughs> I can't wait to unravel all your mysteries. Hmm. How long has it been since you brought me here? 204 days. Roughly seven months or so. Then again, the Lucians had you locked away in that prison for nearly two millennia. I'd be more surprised if you hadn't lost all concept of time. You must loathe those Lucians for what they did to you. <sighs> what is this food? Meat, cloned in this facility. D cloned? We cultivated somatic cells, used them as donors to fuse the nucleus transplant cells to the recipient oocyte, and then we... Enough! I've no ear for the ramblings of a lunatic. What is it you want from me, anyhow? What about me interests you so? You said it yourself, didn't you? You were chosen by the gods. And frankly, with powers like yours, I'd say you're nearly a god in your own right. We need those powers that you possess. With your strength on our side, we could finally put an end to the gruesome war with Lucis. You too must desire the fall of the kingdom that cast you into exile. <sighs> My desires are all in the past. The man who wronged you may have died long ago, but his descendants live on to this day. Surely you must bear them some feelings of ill will. My feelings are none of your concern. Come along. Che la reazione di Arden sta piacendo. L'unica cosa non mi aspettavo fosse in effetti stato fermo per 2000 anni pensavo che nel frattempo avesse fatto qualcosa e adesso cosa che gli farà cambiare idea? This is the fruit of my labor a small portion of it that is I envy you. A human life is too short to truly understand all there is to know about the world. Go on, have a look. Oh. Okay, si può salvare intanto. Non ci sono altri appunti così me li leggo tutti insieme. Aspetta, risalgo un attimo Madonna, quanta roba Do watch your step, won't you? Demons were first officially recognized as a new species roughly 200 years ago According to ancient texts, however, humans have suffered from a parasitic plague wrought by the demons for upward of two millennia. Demonification is caused by a mutant strain of plasmodia that takes root in living creatures and changes their cellular structures. Infected creatures begin to disperse miasmal particles, the spread of which is known as the Star Scourge. This model is a replica made from plaster poured into a demon-shaped cavity discovered deep underground. Demons sublimate when their vital functions cease, so this particular specimen must have vaporized after the mud around it had already solidified. Scientists believe this subject burrowed into the earth in order to shield itself from the light of the sun.
non davanti a punti adesso lo tengo per ultimo anche questo faccio dopo Vabbè, ci metterò mezz'ora solo a leggere con questa strofa, sì. was chosen to eradicate evil from Eos. And with the divine on their side, how could they fail? This is our world. Madonna, tanta roba. It has been estimated that Eos came into existence some 4.5 billion years ago. Ancient myths tell tales of six protector gods who first alighted upon Eos in the ancient Solheim era. Fossils thought to be remains of the oldest members of the human race were discovered in the Pistola region. Some claim that humans discovered fire in the Sukarp region even before the dawn of the Solheim civilization. According to legend, the fire god Ifrit first bestowed his burning wisdom upon a man who later sat the throne of Solheim. The mechanized civilization of Solheim is presumed to have originated in the Disky and Klang regions. Exactly when the civilization rose and fell, however, remains the subject of much investigation. The enormous crevasse separating the regions of Klang and Disky is known as Telpar Crag. It is here that the War of the Astrals is said to have taken place. When Ifrit tried to reduce mankind to ash, the other gods fought back. And some claim this clash caused the collapse of Solheim. It is said that Ifrit, having lost the war of the Astrals, was interred atop the rock of ah, vedi, vedi che proprio così, cazzo. After the war, the ice goddess Shiva allegedly sank into a deep slumber, nestled in the Gorvas rift of Volup. To this day, no one knows what became of the blade god, Bahamut. The earth god Titan can be seen supporting the meteor at the heart of the disk of Kothis in the sky. As for the storm god Rama, legend has it he sealed himself away within Fosha Hollow in the sky. 
The sea goddess Leviathan disappeared in the wake of the war. Some say she swam below the waves and slumbers beneath the city of Altitia. Some 2,000 years ago, the gods granted Somnus Lucis Chilum two gifts, the sacred stone and ring. With these in hand, he founded the kingdom of Lucis. In the centuries since, Lucis has managed to expand its territory while struggling to suppress a parasitic plague. As of ME 722, Moore's Lucis Chilum sits the throne as the 112th monarch of his line. Regis Lucis Chilum is King Moore's firstborn son, and first in line to succeed his father. Angelguard, off the coast of Golden Key, is an uninhabited island that Lucians regard as sacred ground. Ancient texts tell of a monster known as Adagium supposedly sealed away within, but investigations into its existence have yet to provide conclusive evidence. Soon after the establishment of the Kingdom of Lucis, House Fulleray founded the nation of Tenebrae. The Empire began its occupation of Tenebrae in ME 359, a move that was initially met with much apprehension. In order to assuage the dissenters, the Empire preserved the Oracle's home of Fenestala Manor. This concession was partially made for political purposes. House Fulleray enjoys close ties with the line of Lucis. The Accordo Protectorate has developed into a bustling league of towns at the heart of maritime trade. In ME 606, the Empire won an important battle against the Allied forces of Lucis and Accordo, and in turn, annexed the Protectorate. The country is steeped in traditions and cultures that are incompatible with Imperial rule, so the Empire has permitted it a measure of relative political autonomy. Centuries after the founding of Lucis, a movement to revive the lost civilization of Solheim arose around the Weltham region. Leading the charge was House Aldercat, whose brave deeds brought about the rise of the Niflheim Empire. The Empire built upon Solheim's magic technology and employed it for military use. This new firepower helped the Empire fell its foes, taking Tenebrae in ME 359 and Accordo in ME 606. As of ME 722, under the direction of Emperor Aedilus Aldercat, the Empire is developing new arms fusing Magitek with demons. Vestiges of the ancient Solheim civilization can still be seen in the ruins of Piteus and Steel of Grove. Really Several Piteous. ancient structures also dot the forest of the Fall Grove that encircles Castlemark Tower. Excavation of these various sites is currently underway. In ME 501, during an expedition in the Ulwat region, the Imperial Army discovered a new species known as demons. Quante informazioni, cazzo. Che adesso salvo, eh. Salvo e poi attivo quelle due cosette. per stare sicuri di non dover rifare tutto da capo ok mi si attivo questa cosa ah parli si ma ci stanno mostri even the demons of version to light they typically stick to the shadows until the sun fades and the night falls adagium however is different unlike his demon brethren he can still function uninhibited in broad daylight of course, the ultraviolet rays harm him, much like they would any other demon. Yet his cells regenerate quickly enough to essentially negate the damage. Yeah, it stings. Yeah, like the light of the sun. Perhaps uh, I'd best cover up. Pare di aver preso tutte le informazioni che mi servivano. Vorrei dare una letta qua. 
l'archivio questo avevo letto è un avanti 4 vedi si è ifrit veramente il monte ravatog Gerante. Che sarebbe Bamut? Pare che dei. Questa cosa che c'ha i ricordi delle vittime è interessante. Ah sì. anche sottomettere luci sfruttando le sembianze di un messaggero di video potrebbe essere una buona idea che sarebbe Ifrit forse Ifrit che si vede nel gioco in questo qua si parla di Gilgamesh di sì ok di 24 messaggeri di idea poi si ha scienza passato molti dei messaggeri si sarebbero affiancati all'ardente contro gli umani, contrapotendosi così agli altri si direi mm. eh sì lo spadone l'avevo letto rappresentante di vettura la metodologia insomma non è proprio così mm. beh questo è l'esperimento che mi hanno fatto prima altro no quante informazioni comunque cazzo che proviamo ad avanti se non è troppo lunga prigioniero mortale sono io that is what the lucians call the monster they imprisoned for 2000 long years his powers surpass those of any mortal and his body is all but impervious to attack it's no wonder the founder king sealed him away on the isle of angel guard he undoubtedly 
Deadly fear this monster might challenge his reign. It seems fortune smiles upon me. Though the Lucians kept him locked away for 2,000 years, I've managed to secure Radagium for myself. The raging winds and stormy seas may have cast all others away, but the waves parted for me that day and led the way. While I've yet to conduct any official research, the potential he proved in combat was most promising. I estimate his powers easily surpass anything mankind has ever seen. Perhaps this streak of luck has just begun. It's all my... <laughs> Fascinating, isn't it? I pored over the ancient texts and found scarcely a mention of you. I barely believed you existed till I saw you with my own eyes. With your help, my research is proceeding smoothly. You have my thanks. This must be how the gods feel looking down upon our world. Here we have a model of imperial territory. It includes our present lands as well as our future acquisitions. Feel free to have a look. There's something you should see. Come with me. I found something most interesting on the Rock of Ravito. If my experiment on this specimen succeeds, it might provide the information you've been looking for. This way. C'è Ypsit. Polso messaggero. Is that... Ifrit the Infernian. <gasps> you subjugated a god and brought him here? He was sound asleep, just like the legend said he'd be, so we put him on ice. Do you think you could turn him into a demon? If you managed to demonify a deity, you could learn truths no mere mortal could ever dream of knowing. You'll access 2,000 years of his memories, and if you can control him, he'll be a weapon of supreme power. It's certainly an enticing offer, isn't it? Just think you could exact sweet revenge through divine retribution. How do you know what I want? I don't, but I know you have no other options. Well, shall we? Addirittura... Iniziare... Come see the fruits of my Magitech research. This way. The ancient civilization of Solheim, forefathers of our magic technology, once flourished on this land. Had they not incurred the wrath of the gods, they may have remained prosperous to this day. And you wish to restore them to greatness? To surpass them, which is why I need you to lend me your strength. But I'm certain magic technology and demons are the keys to unlocking the door to a new future. Vedi che non dovrebbero essere le cose che mi ha detto. C'è stato ampliato, mi sa. Proprio lui non è un messaggero, pure piccolino. Ci sono rimaste le corna, quindi. Eh sì. 
see that. Lucians? But how? Code me squad. Adagium sighted. Initiating Requesting backup from Nimbus squad. Shutting down communications until all clear. Ah, so, you've come to kill me, have you? Have I or die you? trying. Okay. Cazzo siete, vero? And his cursed kingdom. And burn them all to the ground! <gasps> no! to be king? Mm-hmm. <gasps> 
to Somnus, you had been chosen to be king. Huh? 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 I never dreamt he would try to kill you. But he did. <laughs> Somnus fooled everyone, so he could usurp the throne. Everything that happened, it's all his fault. No. Listen to me. It's my fault. I'm the one who ruined your future. This was divine retribution for my sins. You've no sins to atone for. Gods! Answer me! Why have you burdened us with this fate? Era! Oh, no! Era! Please! In the names of the gods above, Era. Kill me. That's right. Kill her. Put that monster out of its misery, just like I did. I. I can't. My calling is to save lives. <laughs> Just like you saved that innocent man by turning him into a demon. Please, Arden. You must live. I <laughs> Come, why not give the lady what she wants? <laughs> <laughs> Once again, you failed to save her. No surprise. A monster can do not but destroy. <laughs> Supplicate you for pardon. No longer shall I sojourn toward the light. Nay, the path I intend to tread is paved with blood and darkness. No longer shall I seek your guidance. This path is mine to tread. The Empire's demonic experiments bore fruit before long, precipitating the production of a Magitech infantry. As recognition for his contribution to this research, Arden Azunia was inaugurated as Imperial Chancellor. Thanks to its newfound firepower, Niflheim managed to break the stalemate that shackled the nation for more than a hundred years, and, in turn, forced Lucis to scale back its magical barrier. 
The untimely passing of King Mors ushered in the era of a new monarch, and the young Regis Lucis Kylum succeeded the throne. Meanwhile, Arden began to spread the Star Scourge throughout the world, stealing people's memories and learning as much about the kingdom as he could. In time, those memories began to merge with his own, gradually transforming him into a wicked echo of his former self. And now, at long last, the time for his revenge has come. Yes, sir. Direi che per il momento ci fermiamo qui. Quante cazzo di informazioni nuove tutte insieme? Tantissime. Così faccio il tifo per Arden ovviamente. <ride>